to feel like I got spiders on me because there's a spider over there. I hate these little things. guys welcome back today we're taking a look at the Rapido GMDD FP9A locomotive now this is in the Canadian Pacific the block scheme MSRP from what I could find it I think it was around 325 but street prices are around the mid twos so with that said let's take a look at what you get with the latest from the true north locomotives or Rapido trains incorporated starting right now all right, let's unbox the locomotive for the first time. We got in here FP9 catalog, several pages, English and Francais, I believe. Yep, so double sided there, exploited parts diagram. Something breaks, you can order it by looking at that. Yes, blank yellow sheet of paper. I love those. And the decal sheet. Extra decals. You can change some road names. Road numbers, I'm sorry. And uh, little graphics, number boards, etc. Yellow sheets to protect the decals, by the way. I was just kidding. So, anyway. Locomotive, that's what you want to see, right? Let me see a little baggie here. What we got? Diaphragm. Looks like we got a winterization hatch and some MU hoses and some couplers. All right. That's, that'll be handy for later, I guess. We'll see. Out with the loco. Come on. Tight fitting, but less movement the better. Look at this thing. Almost looks like something from outer space there. Look at all that roof detail going on there. Let's reset the camera and take a closer look at this FP9A. A little close up action. Let's take a look. Starting at the nose. Got a nice metal coupler. You've got the pilot right here. Snow plow, whatever you want to call it. Separately applied crabs, yellow, nice. Got LED headlights, number boards, classification lights. Some little speck of dust they got on the windshield. Windshield wipers, horn, oh yeah. Got wind deflectors, cab entry door there with the ladders. Nice truck detail. Dynamic brake fan, icicle breaker bars, gyro light mounted up top here, lift rings, radiator fans, exhaust. Look at that beauty. Look at the icicle breaker bars there. Really nice. Prior to this model, you could not get this without kit bashing or buying brass. So I always like to hear when manufacturers will take the time and produce a model never before produced in plastic. Now, these grills here, these metal grills, these will not warp because of the way they put them in, which is a nice feature. So you may see some wavy metal grills on some manufacturers different uh, locomotives, F units, not on these because of the way they put them in. There's a certain design that they use that keeps them from warping, which is nice. So you'll never see bows on a Rapido locomotive because of that, which is awesome. Here's the back. You got the diaphragm back there, a little cab entry door. You got a handle and separately applied grabs down here, rear coupler, more hoses there. Coming along the other side, you get some windows, nice side detail, rivet detail, really great looking uh, locomotive here, beautiful. 
beautiful loco. So I want to give you a little up close of the truck detail there. Very hard to get in the light. And then the underbody detail. Rapido's locomotives are just absolutely well done for the underside. Look at all that like air reservoir, braking detail, brake line detail, etc. Fuel tank detail. They don't really skip anything, which is why they're the top of their game in terms of detail. So that's it for the overview. Let's get into some operation. New feature before we go into operation is the KD coupler height gauge. And as you can see, it is dead on with Rapido's locomotive here on the back. And there it is on the front. So you have a nice even coupling there. All right, let's listen to some sounds. First, uh, with track power applied, you don't get any sounds until you hit F8, which is start up and shut down. One is the bell. Two is the air horn. F3 is interesting. It takes it straight to notch eight. I mean, there's some other sounds, including some Easter egg sounds that you have to check out somewhere around functions above the functions above uh, 15. So we won't be playing those. I'll let you find out those out for yourself. But I will um, show you some other functions which actually deal with the lighting. Now, as you can see, we've dimmed the lights quite a bit to show you some lighting features. First, you have that step well lighting down on the both sides of the locomotive you can see reflecting down onto the concrete ties there you've got lit number boards lit headlight all led then there's some interesting facts here if you look up top at the top of your screen there's a roof mounted gyro light search light i think uh, and here you have it and it does work so f5 controls that it's a pretty cool feature, very unique. Rapido is kind of prides themselves on being unique. F9 is white classification lights. You'll see light up above the number boards. And then you can turn those off and switch to F10, which is the green ones. So you see a difference between the green and the white, and then you can see it changing from going green to white there. And then, like I said, lots of other sounds. There's the Doppler horn, um, dynamic brake, and then there's switching mode. So lots of cool features on these Rapido locomotives. Not a lot of time to cover all of it, but there you have the functions covered. All right, now we're going to check speed control. We've got one speed step of 126 here. Moving right along smoothly. Two, three, four, and five. Very smooth out of the gate. Check reverse here. This is closer and you can probably see better. Step one, speed step one. Step two. Three, four, and five. Now, we have not done what Rapido calls the awesome slow speed thingy. Awesome slow speed thingy, basically, you set some CVs 
this thing will take off on you and then next thing you know it's got great slow motor control which just adds to what you saw there so overall pretty cool just like with a lot of Rapido products I review there's humor throughout the manual and the amount of work they put into the detail is awesome look at those those icicle breaker bars I just can't get over those things they're awesome so uh, we talked about the light up top um, they had these roof mounted search lights installed when the FP 9A locomotives were delivered various reasons why um, from safety to eliminate the treacherous right of way in the mountains visibility etc uh, but in the manual here it says a retired CP locomotive engineer told Rapido the real reason that they were a publicity gimmick uh, much happier with the effect in the they were much happier with the effect in the new FP 9A locomotives and uh, hopefully you guys like it too but it's just a an additional feature that apparently uh, one CP engineer thinks was a publicity motive for that light not not anything else so anyway it works everything uh, they talk about works winterization hatch installed back here didn't really talk about on the details but obviously being CP you need that all the features couplers good strong metal couplers dead on to the kds etc let's go ahead and wrap this review so up. so my final thoughts are obviously there are ho scale modelers that are super picky out there they're going to find problems with everything ho is really the scale that all the detail um all the detail freaks come out and to model because all the detail is there in ho but uh, i can't really find anything wrong with the locomotive Rapido did a great job Coupled with ESU sound, it's a great job. The details there, smooth operation, um, weight, and pull test you saw there are very good numbers. So overall, I don't really see any problems with the locomotive. Now, people get on me because I'm not picky enough, or, you know, I don't say that it didn't have a real, you know, locomotive uh, engine inside, you know, or something crazy. But fact is, these are models, and they're going to be somewhat inaccurate but i really can't find any inaccuracies with these even comparing to some photos so i think they did a great job the fact that the uh, ice sickle breaker bars aren't broken or wavy or have any warping going on means that they did a really good job with both packaging materials and delivery um, but overall pretty nice locomotive for what you're going to end up paying which is in the mid to high 200 so that's all i've got to say on that I think it's a great product. We'll see you next time right here on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.